Hey there, it's V from V11 Crystals and V11 Tarot. Today's pick a card reading is on what are their feelings and intentions. We have three piles for you. We have pile one with the rose quartz. Pile two, you have the blue crystal quartz. And pile three, you have the purple amethyst. Alright, so if you want to make your selection now, go for it. If you want to take some time, pause the video if you need to meditate on each pile. Timestamps are always below. Please subscribe if you're new, and if not, thank you for returning. I love to post vid vid videos every day, and I do the signs daily too, so catch your sign as it goes up. Your signs. Alright, let's dive in. Thank you so much for your time. Okie dokie, pile number one. I'm going to do the first row of feelings. The second row is going to be of their intentions to see what comes out. So, pile one, feelings. What are their feelings for you? Pile one, think about your person while I shuffle. If you're new, please subscribe. If not, thank you for coming back and for having fun with me. If you're looking for more pick a cards, I do have playlists for each category. Pregnancy, LGBTQ+. Uh, marriage, etc., etc. And if you choose to book a reading with me, my links are below. So, what are your person's feelings towards you? Pile number one. Your fe person's feelings towards you. Your person's feelings towards you. Pile number one. So, you have balancing act, wish fulfillment, life, spirit, connection, <clears throat> and the master's key. So the feelings are telling me that they could feel hot and cold towards you. There is a balance here. You have the, the yeah, you do have the yin yang, masculine, feminine. They could feel like they are trying to regulate their feelings, but also I'm getting hot and cold, dark and light. Like when things start to get very hot and heavy, they pull back <clears throat> when things start to get very emotional they shut down or they ghost or just stay quiet <clears throat> or they read your messages and they don't respond right away i think because that's them regulating their emotions their hormones <laughs> you know there is such a thing when people when they, when okay so if you're a female and we're talking about a male in your life I learned that when guys get too in their feminine energy, their emotions, it, it gets too intense for them and or overwhelming and it's, it's, it could come across or it could feel very uncomfortable. So they have to go back and recharge and go back to their masculinity, their testosterone to recharge, regroup, recalibrate. recalibrate. To get a clear head, to, to be logical again, to feel in control again. <laughs> so this is them regulating. So if this person ever draws back, it's not because they don't want to, this person doesn't want to be with you or this person's trying to avoid you. I mean, in a sense they are, but only for their own well-being. It's like hitting the reset button, you know? Oh, I'm too much in my feminine, too much in my emotions. Okay, let me, let me go back into my testosterone spectrum over here where if I feel it's safe and I know what, what I'm doing here. <laughs> All right? It's like going into new territory, <clears throat> but so deep into it that it starts to feel a little overwhelming. Yeah. But their feelings, wish fulfillment, they feel, they feel happy. It's like they, they're right where they need to be. There's a connection you guys share. They feel like they, they hold the key to your heart. That they have access to your heart, to your love. So it feels good. It feels good. They just I think this is just them having a, a nice balance instead of going from one, one extreme to the other. Okay, so now that we know their feelings for you, Pal One, what are their intentions? Which could be different from feelings. What do they intend to do, your person, Pal One? Voodoo spirits heritage, okay. What do they in intend to do? How one? 
<clears throat> Forces of Will. Foraging, Whole Foods, and Earth. I did get the Earth card before in this other deck, but it came, it, it went back in. I shuffled it back in. Okay, anything else? Tree of Life. I get this person is, this person is going to, this person is diving more into their feelings. This person will. This person is also connecting more to spirit, more to their intuition. Um, I'm getting that with this. This person could also be hanging out, hanging out a lot with their friends, their family. Um, and maybe listening to the opinions of others. Maybe also trying to get cool with your friends and family. I feel like they're feeling safe. They're going to feel safe. Uh, spending time with your loved ones like they feel like it's safe to go deeper into this connection as long as they maintain boundaries and balance forces of will they might feel tempted to do things they might feel you know um intimately in, uh, <laughs> tempted they might want to um they probably can't keep their hands off of you to be frank um it's like they have an agenda they have a one-track mind but then you guys, you know, you guys can get hot and heavy and start feeling very connected towards each other. And then one thing leads to another. And then now they're all the way in and they're like, oh my gosh, I got to pull back. I got to go back into my testosterone. <laughs> oh, so it's like, I feel like they're just going to keep, keep going. They're going to keep going for this connection. Their intentions are to keep getting to know you. Uh, maybe meet your loved ones. I see that with the heritage card here. They also feel like there's some kind of magic, like you hold some kind of control over them. And I don't know if they really like that. <laughs> you have the key to my heart. I don't know if I want. I don't want. I don't know if you, I want you having access to my heart, Pie One. Uh, let me let me go back into my little hermit cave. <laughs> this person might just feel like they want a sense of control, you know, independence to the balance of both. You have foraging, whole foods, and earth. So this is, um, you know, the intentions are to stabilize their emotions and to make this a stable connection. I see a lot of trees, by the way. There's a big fat tree right there, trees and woods in here. You got more woods. <clears throat> I feel like this person wants to grow something secure with you. Wanting to feel balanced and, and grounded with you. Like the like to feel a sense of stability and security with you. At least to show you this too. To show you that they, they're here to stay. The encounter. So the encounter to me, if I look at this, let me look at these images. The intention is to come towards you with a question, an offer an idea, a game plan for the future. To come together and talk about something serious. Something something that, you know, could really impact your connection long term. The encounter is like it's like a special event. It's like um <clears throat> something well planned is what I'm getting. Alright, so now that we know the we know the the awesome Feelings. Let me pull out some more feelings from this person, whether it's a female or a male. It could be both. You know, we can. Some some of you could be dealing with a female. Some of you could be dealing with a male. What other feelings want to come through? You have this one. Discouraged. Okay, this person. Yes, this person can be feeling a little like. Like okay, well I I don't like being too much in my feelings. Let me pull back. So, <clears throat> wanting to have control over their emotions, to have a better thinking, uh, I'm sorry, better, to have better, you know, clarity. What else, what else? Playful. I was just going to say, like, this serious encounter, it doesn't seem playful. It seems very serious, this talk. Talk about future, talk about feelings, perhaps. It can be very vulnerable and very uncomfortable for this person to bring this up. But then we, <clears throat> we got playful anyway. So maybe it's going to turn into something serious. 
and then it's something that you want to hear, wish fulfillment. And then it's like now, okay, whew, there's no more tension here. Now we can laugh, we can have fun, we can carry on with our lives. Homesick. This person could be missing you. This person probably doesn't want to be away from you for too long. Supported. Hopeful. All right. And timid. <laughs> okay. All right. Nice. So this person does have those intimidation feelings. <laughs> feeling shy to come towards you with a question, with something serious. Hey, you want to be exclusive. Hey, how do you feel about me? Hey, I've been thinking. Oh, that's so funny. You have Swamped and you have Swamp Witch. Hmm, interesting. That's really funny. Hmm, I feel like this person's really going to deep, dive deep for you. Deep in the swamps. Deep in the swamps of their heart. Dive really deep to be open and honest with you and vulnerable with you. Something serious, I'm telling you. There's going to be some, a serious talk here. All right, so that's what you can expect. That's those intentions. All right, I'm going to pull out some feelings real quick. Pio number uno. Let's see what the feelings are. All right, Pio number one. What are your person's feelings? This is my Witch Becomes Her Oracle. They are for sale on Etsy, eBay, and um, PayPal and Cash App. Inbox me over on Instagram or belovecrystals at gmail.com. Okay, let's see. What are your person's, what are your person's uh, feelings towards you? What would they want to tell you if they could? They feel protective over you. All right, sweet. These are kind of like, there's too much here. You know what? They did fly out, so I'm not going to deprive them of their existence. So let's go. Relationships take work, show a little more effort. A spiritual awakening is affecting you both. And that's what I was feeling with this whole, like, um... What was it? It was the voodoo, like some kind of magic. Like maybe they think you got a hold of them, like you're putting a witch spell on them or something. <laughs> they can't control themselves when they're with you, so that's why they pull back and they, you know, try to gain more clarity that way. <laughs> you got, I've got an offer you can't refuse. Bingo! I knew it. I knew it. That's the encounter you will have. A special talk, a special occasion, a special... Uh, invitation perhaps or a special con you know com conversation the heart wants what it wants maybe he's maybe he or she's you know try not to deny anymore maybe that's the thing it's not to deny feelings just go with it go with the flow you're so hard to read <laughs> okay letting go makes us that much stronger and we project fears onto each other yeah we talked about the fears fears discouraged like feeling like okay well <clears throat> I'm in too deep. Ah, I'm shy now. I'm all over the place. Let me go and retreat. <laughs> uh, maybe they also fear something from the past, like repeating itself. With, you know, for comparing it. Or just repeating something from the past. Like, oh my gosh, I've done this before. What if, what if this time is the same? Or, ah, you know, freaking out over every little thing. Okay, so let's see what your advice is. Lovely pile number uno. What's your advice for this connection? What's your advice for this connection? Your advice is to... Okay, timed release focused force storage. You have forces twice. Okay, so this, this could say don't force anything. Just let things unfold organically, naturally, how it's supposed to. If you're hinting, I want to hurry up and get married, you might scare this person away. It's like they're, 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 going, they're going through the waves of emotions. They're going to get there eventually. Or if you're looking for a boyfriend, girlfriend label, girlfriend, girlfriend label, whatever, let them just come to that conclusion themselves because I'm, I'm telling you it's going to be worth the wait. It's going to be worth the wait. Um, this person has a plan, I'm telling you. Now, if you listen, now, if you've been waiting for six years and this person still doesn't want to give you a boyfriend or girlfriend label, that's a different story. That's something that I am not talking about. I would never, ever, ever, ever recommend someone waiting for more than six years, not even more than two years. Seriously? <clears throat> so, I'm talking for those of you who have been waiting for like, I don't know, weeks, months, um, maybe even a year, and you're like, uh, I don't know. You know, just this, this person's gathering their feelings. They're, they're, they're mustering up that strength, that courage, you know, they probably feel discouraged, you know, so they're still in the process, 
So anyway, this is just beautiful. I really love this for you. Take care. If you want a personal reading, let me know. I have them in my um, the pinned comments. It says, book a reading with a blue heart. Take care, friends. I'll see you next time. All right, piles, who you chose, the blue crystal quartz. Thank you so much for your time and for being here. I appreciate you. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. I will love it so much. And if you're joining me in my live streams, it's freaking, it's a fun time. It's a fun time. So, yeah, I hope to see you then. All right, to book a personal reading, my links are below. And if you're looking for pick a cards that are organized, like for pregnancy, marriage, crush, Readings, they are all organized on my channel, so check them out. All right, let's get this dive in. Pile number two, what are your person's feelings? I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do the, the, the intentions first, then the feelings. So what are your person's intentions right now? Pile number two, what are your person's intentions for you, for this connection? What are your person's intentions you have relating the boss. Okay, what are your person's intentions? And assets. Okay. Okay. Okay, what are your person's feelings? Pound number two. Pound number two, what are your person's feelings? Pound number two. Pound number two, what are your person's feelings? You have swamped. This also came out, oh sorry, this also came out in pile number one, Swamped, okay? We'll get somewhere else, I'll explain to you what that means. What are your person's feelings? Nausea, <laughs> okay? Nervous about something, anxious about something, frustrated. What are your person's feelings, pile number two? And you have compassionate. I think this is something that they're battling with them. Yeah, satisfied. This is a positive thing. It's just that it's, it's coming across very, um, very anxious, very nervous. But there's a satisfaction here towards the end, so that, which makes me feel like they're a bottle of nerves. I wonder why. Trusting. Okay, so they're, they're going through something. And then once they figure it out, they will trust their decision, their answer, and then they will feel happy about it, about this, the decision they're making, and they're going to tell you about it, but let's first, um, yeah, let's go, yeah, the feelings, okay, so your person feels like they want, there's something that they want to tell you, something they want to show you, uh, offer you, uh, talk about with you, but they're feeling a little apprehensive about it, or hesitant, maybe because they don't want to be rejected, or maybe they don't want you to be judged, I'm actually going to, um, clarify more, because... I wonder why it's coming across so, like, nerve-wracking and even frustrated. It's like they're trying to figure something out, but they're not sure if um, they have everything they need to be able to do so. So you have expectation and adjudication. So this is something that your person wants to figure out. This person wants to make things fair for you both, work things out with you. But they're waiting for the perfect time to be able to come towards you and, and with, with a decision or an answer or, or an offer or a contract. Um, so this person could also be very busy. And if you are, if you guys are not talking at this time, this person is trying to find a way to make more time for you or make more time for this connection. This person could be also feeling nervous about having to disappoint you perhaps or t having to tell you something that may frustrate you. Okay, what are your person's feelings right now? Pile number awesome two. Why is the Swamp card coming out for? Please let me clarify the Swamp card. Family. Okay, this person has a lot going on when it comes to their personal life. So right now, if you're not hearing from them, it's, it has nothing to do with you. Um, it has to do with something that's going on personally. So family room. So they're feeling like they got so much going on when it comes to family. Maybe they have like um, 
a sick family member, nauseated. Maybe they are, maybe this is someone who's severely ill and is stressing them out. Um, they're trying to juggle a personal life and a relationship and a job and a hobby and a health and whatever, all that fun stuff. Um, why is the nauseated card here? Message of concern. So this person, I'm telling you, this person feels this this news that they there are news that they have to tell you, but they're afraid to go about it. They're afraid to hear what you have to say about it. So that's what's making them anxious and sick to their stomach. So I can give examples for you, pal two. Pal two, um, it's like Oh, listen, I'm not going to be able to visit this, this summer. Let's say you guys are long distance. I'm going to have to go back um, to my home, or I'm going to have to go back and visit family to attend to some things. Like, let's say, a funeral, or um, selling of the estate, or settling documentation, because we did get adjudication, right? She has a letter. So maybe a legal pursuit or something like that, legal issue. And so maybe they're trying to sell something or sell a big home or maybe there's a fight back home with the siblings and they have to go, you know, resolve it all. Relating, okay? So this person, and there's a boss here, so this person could have a lot on their plate, swamped, and so they're like afraid to disappoint you. And that's the honest truth. It's like, I feel sick about this. I really don't want to have to do this. Oh, let's say it's something minor. Maybe it's like, I'm sorry, I'm not going to be able to, to buy um, to buy us. I'm not going to be able to move in with you anytime soon. No, that's kind of big, though. It's like, <sighs> sorry, I, we, I can't move in right at this time. My, my money is really stretched. I'm having setbacks financially. Or, I'm sorry, I'm not going to be able to buy a dog with you. I, I'm allergic. You know, something like that. It's, very, it's disappointing. You were looking forward to it. And this person is afraid of, like, telling you about it. But they're also frustrated with themselves. You know, maybe because they feel like they're disappointing you. Or breaking a promise. Okay, so tell me why this frustrated card is here. They're concerned about how you're going to perceive this information. How you're going to react. Frustrated. Okay, so you, they're thinking, oh my goodness, this is unfolding. So they're feeling like if, by when they tell you that you might not believe them that you might reject this, that you might think they're full of crap. And so they're frustrated about this. Like, I, I know that it, how it sounds, it sounds fishy, but this is real. And you might be like, I don't, I don't believe it. You're, you're, you're lying to me. And so they're kind of feeling like they're put in a corner or like they're having to justify themselves and explain themselves. And so that's, you know, that's leading to a little bit of unsettled feelings and frustration. But, um... They, it's like, they really do consider your feelings. It's like they're trying not to disappoint you. See, something is, is out of their control, thief. Something is out of their control. Something was taken from them. It's either they're dealing with legal issues, monetary issues, family drama. And this is stealing their energy. This is stealing their time from you. And this person, you know, this person, um is considerate of you, of your feelings. This person is trying to consider you into this, into this equation, but it's like something is beyond their control. Distant horizon, see, this is like they might have to travel back to seas, I mean back home. Maybe they're having to move away for work or having to move away for family, and they're biting their tongue trying not to trying to figure out how to tell you, see community, and then you have lovers. <clears throat> Compassionate and lovers. It's like they're trying to factor you in. They, they don't want to have to do this. Um, something, and it could also be, it could also be like, sorry, I can't get married this time or this year. I really can't. I'm having fear of commitment. <clears throat> or my family doesn't want to take part in this in this marriage, so I have to be able to get them on board first. It can be something like that. Um, I'm trying to give different scenarios. You know, you have lovers, you have community, family, 
family room. The family could be getting in the way and they don't know how to tell you about this. Maybe the family's talking bad things about this relationship and they don't know how to tell you about this. Um, maybe an ex try is trying to come in. Maybe an ex is saying, oh, by the way, um, you're the father of my child. And they're like, what the f What? I oh, no. What? Let me, let me go figure this out. Go take a DNA test. And then they have to tell you about this. Not knowing if, the, if it's true. If there's some fake, something, something very fake or something very uh, huge. Something huge, massive. It's a concern that this person has to figure out. But they have to tell you about it. And they're kind of hesitating. All right, so the message seems very clear to me. Okay, thank you, Spirit. So there, those are the feelings, you know, up and down. Uh, they don't want to lose you. That's the bottom line. They don't want to lose you. That's why they're all over the place with their emotions and feeling like they're pushed in the corner. <clears throat> they don't know what to do. This is out of their control. And they want to be in control. You have the Capricorn here. Okay, so you have um, their intentions you have relating so this is them <clears throat> uh, trying to relate to you about this trying to level with you trying to be honest with you trying to be on the same page with you or help you get on the same page with them the intentions are to take action and make this work out try to figure out how to make this work between you both um, being sun is, is, you know, to keep happy, to keep positive, keep optimistic, not trying to let anything break this connection uh, or break your, your spirit or break your heart or have you think less of them. They really want you to still want to be with them. And then you have assets. See, this is what I'm saying. They might have to go home and sell an estate or you know, uh, figure out legal drama. Material world, possessions, finance, talents, value, solidity, worthiness, wardrobe, luxuries, credit scores, security, aesthetics. So they have to, it's kind of like they have to tell you about everything that they're facing. And the intentions are to maybe even include you in all this stuff. Include you in the assets. I don't know, like share their money with you. Maybe they have an inheritance that's, that's coming and they're afraid of telling you about it. I don't know, maybe because they're afraid that you might just want to be with them because of their money. They they could be earth energy or maybe they're, real, they're f afraid of losing you if they get this inheritance. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I, see, I see like lots of jewels and treasures in here. Um, wow, this is pretty interesting because I was getting that with this picture, how like, they might have to do some something for the family. And I see a lot of family uh, heirlooms here. So um, I, that's what I'm getting for you, friends, okay? So let's see what messages want to come out, and then we're going to get into the guidance. What is the guidance, or what is what, are, what message would they like to tell you, pile number two? Pile number two. Yes, so they receive news from family or boss or someone from their past and it could be unexpected, maybe unpleasant and now they have to break it to you. You're meant for me, merit love, but they, they want to reassure you and they want you to know that they're in this and they want you to be patient with them. I'm different now, so there's a different, there's something happening that's going to change this energy, that's going to change your relationship perhaps or change their life in a big way, different. Okay, the hard part is coming over. <gasps> wow, you have two sunflowers and they're, they're from different decks. And I shuffle like crazy. So you have the sun, sunflower, sunflower. So this person, okay, they're going through something very difficult. They want you to be su supportive if you can. You don't have to be if you don't want to. You don't have to tolerate this if you don't want to. But they're really asking, they're really going through it. And it's like you're the only person that really, you know, would get them or understand and so <clears throat> something's gonna change something's gonna blossom something's gonna be different I see all the beautiful things here with all these suns it's my turn to chase after you you might you might not want anything to do with this and they're going to come after you they're or not like that but they're gonna come towards you because they don't want to lose you thief I don't want to lose you my body says yeah my heart says heck yeah this person already knows you're the one this person already knows 
you're worth fighting for. I love you with all my heart, see? This person feels so uh, connected to you. Being with you makes me feel 10 feet tall. So this person loves you so much and they're trying to, they want to make you happy. But now they have this new thing that's coming in and now they're afraid of losing you. I hope I will see you again sometime. See? <clears throat> and last one, I never used to look at you in that way. So something happens and, and then things start getting a little weird between you both or just intense and they're realizing, oh crap, I better figure my stuff out before you walk away, pal too, before you walk away and I don't want that. I don't want that. So let's see what um love mess I'm mean, sorry, what message from the angels wanna take put you know, play a role and guide you. Let's see. Kathumi, Cloak of Wisdom. You already know the answers you seek. Trust what you know. Trust. So if you feel like you, this person is telling you the truth about what's going on, and um, if you yeah, if you trust this person, if you feel like you can be supportive and be a good listening ear, um, then Spirit is saying go for it. Go with your intuition. You know your person better than anybody does. And Spirit is saying, and, you know, make sure you're, thinking about your own happiness too make sure you're, you're happy with the outcome you know if this person has to move away for whatever reason and you can't do a long distance relationship I still I see distance right there distant horizons then you, you gotta put your foot down and say no I can't do this I can't do this long distance connection I'm not about that and they have to figure out what they're gonna do do they wanna lose you they gotta figure it out they gotta boss up Okay, friends, so thank you for watching. You put your foot down, too. You, you be stern and affirmative. If you can't <clears throat> take what this person person's dishing out or going through, then just be honest about it. So you have a wonderful day. Personal readings can be found. My links are below, and I'll see you next time. All the decks will be linked below as well. And this weekend, Oracle of the Shadows and the Shadows, Shadows Oracle, you have... Um, Jukebox love messages, kissed by a rose, everything is linked. Take care. Pile number three, thank you for choosing the purple amethyst. How are you? Thanks for coming in here, for choosing this pile. Don't forget to check out the rest of their, um, I'm sorry, if you're looking for the signs, I have them going up every day. And then after Pisces, we get into a pick a card to reset. So if you're looking for anything specific when it comes to signs or the different types of pick cards I do. They're all organized down below. So let's dive in pile number three. Hello, how do, how do you do? Book a reading with me, links are below to book a reading. All right, pile number three. We got the Empress, I'm gonna shuffle again. Oh, pile number three, Empress, three for the Empress, okay. We're gonna get into your person's um, intentions first. Pile number three, what are your person's intentions? You got the Ace of Cups. Pile number three, what are your person's intentions? Pile number three, what are your person's intentions? Four of Wands. Pile number three, what are your person's intentions? The Magician, and you have the Three of Pentacles. Nice, you got another three. Sweet! And you got Six of Cups here, okay, coming together. And Knight of Swords, conversations, communication, all right. So, I love this so far, my friends, I love it. Okay, so the intentions are so far to express their feelings with you, to show you how much they love you, how much they appreciate you, to be open and honest with you and vulnerable. Four of Wands, they could talk about commitment, long-term goals, um, something very stable for the future. Their intentions are to like bring you there, but at least bring you to the next level. So if you guys are just dating, bring you to girlfriend boyfriend status or girlfriend girlfriend boyfriend boyfriend status. Or if you guys have been dating and you've been exclusive for so long, maybe this is another title, engagement perhaps, um, <clears throat> etc. etc. Or maybe this is like say, finally saying let's get married tomorrow. <laughs> All right, um, after being engaged for so long. Okay, if you guys have just been friends or coworkers, this person wants something different. This person wants to work with you. The magician, this person wants to take action. This person wants to approach you with a plan, with a goal. This person also wants to feel, wants to know what you feel. This person wants to, it's like the intention is to see where your head is at. 
to see if you want the same thing, to see if you want to work with them on a goal. To see what your values are for a relationship. To see if you feel the same. To see if you want a new beginning with them. Uh, for some, for others of you, part number three, you might have uh, someone from the past coming through who might want a new beginning, who might be finally ready to commit. So what are your person's feelings, part number three? Part number three, what are your person's feelings, part number three? You have emotional, yeah, ace of cups with emotional. Tell me all about it, friend. Thank you, spirit, part number three. Thank you. Okay, grief. Four of Wands. Okay, so maybe in the past they weren't ready to commit. And it left you saddened, depressed, powerless. Okay, so what are they feeling? One more card. You have creative. Okay. I feel it. I feel it. Okay. Um, there was a blockage before, and now things are flowing. Ace of Cups. And that their intentions are to keep things open between you both. To keep things flowy, to keep things um, progressing. So, okay. So the feelings are, they're feeling their feelings. They're feeling like they want to make something out of this relationship. They don't just want it to just sit there and just do nothing. They want to see where it can go. Grief, this is like a sense of, um, what if I lose you? What if you don't accept what I have to offer? What if you reject me? Uh, also stuff from the past, you know, if uh, if they're dealing with something from the past, they can, I don't know, coming from a place of lack or scarcity or fear of what the outcome could be in the future. Um, also, if you guys uh, were, had a chance to get married or maybe this person had a chance to get married, it didn't happen, they could feel guilty about it. If they didn't take, if they didn't, uh, take a chance in engaging with you, uh, you know, offering you engagement or offering you, offering you a commitment. They're feeling, you know, a little bit, they're feeling bad or remorseful about it. There's some kind of regrets when it comes to commitment here. Like maybe feeling bad that they couldn't commit to you before in the past, or maybe they couldn't see the deal with someone else and they feel bad about it. And it's kind of like they don't want to go through that again. Of losing fear of losing someone because they couldn't commit. Uh, powerless, they probably feel like this. They have no, like they have no control. Yeah, you, have, you see, you have magician here, and then you have the power there. So they, they want to be in their power. They feel powerless. So it's like, how can I bring us to a sense of harmony and balance and mutual respect and trust? That's their goal. They don't want to feel powerless without you. They don't want to feel without you. They don't want to feel like they're losing you. So it's like, how can I gain my power back? And they feel like the only way to do that is to commit to you. But it's something that they want to do. Also, their feelings, they're feeling very creative. Like they want to get, um, it's like they want to do something out of the norm. They want to, <clears throat> it's like, it's like, let's say that they dated a lot of people and the second date they slept with them, right? This time they don't want to do that stuff. They don't want to re repeat the same mistakes. This time it's different. And this, this can be something that they're battling. It's like they have those urges where they want to just do what feels comfortable or natural, but then they have to stop themselves, stop themselves. And that's why they have to, you know, regain their power again. To feel like they're in control. Okay, I'm going to clarify, um, what do I want to clarify these things right here? Let me clarify these bad boys right here. I want to see what, <clears throat> so their intentions. Okay, why are the Ace of Cups here? So let's move this up. Move, let's do bottom row. Why are these, Ace, why is the Ace of Cups here for your person's intentions for your pound number three? Letter, correspondence, message, fast development. So this person wants to share. This person wants to share what's on their heart, share their plans, what they're thinking, what they're feeling. Yes, love. Okay. Share what their the goals are for a connection, or what their goals are. Period. 
Okay, Four of Wands, Wealth, Deep Connection, Ebb and Flow. So they, they really want to make something out of this connection with you. They really want to make it stable, secure. They want to assure you that they want this. Wealth, Deep Connection, Ebb and Flow. Okay, Four of, Swords, Four of Wands. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Oh my gosh. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? They want to work with you. Why is the Three of Pentacles here for the intentions? Uh, <clears throat> so you have Masquerade. What is this? Powerless. Okay. Disguise lies untruthful friends. Three of Pentacles. So why is the Three of Pentacles here, here for, your, for their intentions? Let me clarify again. <clears throat> Just a lot of people. Three of Pentacles has three people working together. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Gosh, dog it. Why is the Three of Pentacles here, Spirit? Why is the Three of Pentacles here for why what their intentions are for you? Hard to get. Hard to get. Body language. Sweet escape. Self love. Okay, this tells me. Oh my gosh, <clears throat> I get it. Powerless, Three of Pentacles. Okay, this tells me, for some of you, this person has disappointed you in the past, and now when, now that they're offering you commitment or a chance to work together on something long-term, you're questioning it. You think it's a lie. You think they're being untruthful. You think they're just... You, you think they're just saying it, but not really following through. Hard to get. Because <clears throat> you feel like, oh, it's too good to be true. There's no way you're going to give me what I want. This was hard to achieve before. I don't trust it. So they're feeling like you're going to... That's why they're feeling powerless. Like, they have no control now. Now they're like, oh, crap. Well, I don't... Oh. I have nothing here. I have no ammo. I have nothing to... Oh, boy. I have nothing to work with. Oh, my gosh. You don't believe me. Because of what we went through in the past. So that's all you know. So now I have nothing. And he wants to be or she wants to be in the magician's seat. With control. With power. With resources. With proof in the pudding. <clears throat> so I feel. Yeah. Your person's going to have to prove to you. That's for sure. The person's going to have to prove that they're serious. They can't just say, say, say. They got to do. Wow. Okay. And you could be listening to the opinions or the judgments of others or what other people have said about, I don't know, if you're in touch with, <clears throat> excuse me, if you're in touch with their, their exes and their exes are saying, no, nah, they're not going to, he's not going to marry you. He said that to me too. You're listening to them and I don't think you should be. You shouldn't be listening to anybody but your own intuition. Like you know your person more than anybody else does. Even your exes don't know the, the, the new person that you're dating. They know the, the past old person that, you dated, that you're dating, but not the new version. Okay, even, even though there could be a little bit of truth in the past, which could impact their now, but we can't listen to the opinions. You don't know if these exes are trying to sabotage you too. We don't know if the exes are just um, out to get your, your person and, and wishing them ill and you know wishing them uh bad luck we don't know if that person if their exes still love them and want them back and they're saying anything just to lie on them and and sabotage yeah like i said so we can't trust anybody from their past and we can't listen to the our exes either we can't listen to your exes your friends who don't approve of this relationship we gotta legit, just listen to ourselves so the magician the magician wants to, it's like the magician's trying to get you back in a place of love. Heart, romance, affection, deep feelings, ace of cups, letter of um, love, declaration of love. So this person wants to get you back. Yeah, transform this energy like the magician does, alchemizes this energy from a place of doubt to a place of love. From you on your part. And, and you, you got to be like, well, you can't control me. I'll love you how I want to love you. I'll trust you if I want to. I'll listen to you if I feel like it. But you can't, tr you can't control my, my love for you, my heart for you. Uh, you can't control my decisions. 
my intuition. I'm going to decide what I want to do when I feel like it. You got two snakes. Like I said, be careful. Don't try not to listen to too much of outside for, uh, opinions. Um, not a people wear masks. You just be careful. And you got birds chirping, chattering, gossiping, rumor, spreading rumors, and all that fun stuff, right? Taking worms from other birds. <laughs> so I feel like all in all, this person has a bad reputation. Maybe they broke your heart in the past, or maybe they broke the hearts of others, or maybe they were a bachelor. Maybe you guys were just friends with benefits, and now you can't trust their true intentions. And Spirit's saying, yeah, don't don't just trust just because this person's telling you that they're changed. You gotta see it for yourself. Actions speak louder. And yeah, you just keep on getting to know this person, see if, if they their words match up to their actions or their actions match up to their words. Um, yeah, I feel like if, if you do wanna trust this person, if they are talking about all of a sudden wanting to commit, going from friends with benefits to boyfriend, girlfriend, or going from boyfriend, girlfriend to husband and wife, or you know, engaged, fiance, sorry. If that's the case, if you feel like you can trust, you know, take it one day at a time. There's a lot of truth here. There's also a lot of things that you have to filter out. I see a lot of birds. A lot of birds. There's a lot of truth here, but there's also things you have to kind of like work through. Filter out a little bit. I see masks everywhere, so be careful with, you know, people pretending to be your friend, but they're really not. All right, let me see what messages want to come through from your person's heart, your person's, um, what's it called? Your person's, yeah, truthful heart. All right, friends, pound number three. And I'm going to give you advice, too, so let's see. Pound number three, what, what message from your person's heart wants to come through? All the decks I'm using today are links below. Personal love dolls, um, flaming hot love, bitter sweet love tea. They feel protective. This is like someone who wants to manipulate a lot. So watch out for that. Don't be manipulated. Don't be controlled. Don't be mind controlled. Don't be mind f effed, if you know what I'm saying. Mind, fud mind fudged. Don't be. Uh, this person, because this person doesn't want to lose pa you or lose power over this connection. This person wants you how they want you, perhaps. Oh, spirit. Oh, thank you. I got confirmation. This person's like, oh, wait. I want you, yeah, this is what I'm saying. I want you how I want you. I want you to love me. I want you to think good th thoughts about me. And you're not, oh my gosh, I gotta, I gotta change your mind. I gotta do damage control. Because I can't have you thinking bad things about me or messing my reputation or, or have you uh, rejected me. So I'm gonna <clears throat> try my best to get you on my good side or get me on your good side. See, they are trying hard to earn your love, hard to get. You, you keep playing hard to get if you need to because this person could be very manipulative. Maybe love bombing to gaslighty. So if you need to protect yourself and put your armor up, your guard up, your your all that stuff up, then do it. Your mask up. Yes. Your walls up. Whatever you need to. I see a lot of birds. What the heck are... You gotta go see what the birds mean for your friend. <clears throat> okay. Excuse me. Seeing you happy sets me free. That's weird. So they, they want you to be happy. They do want to make you happy. They want to make you happy. They want to see you happy. Okay, so they have they have some good energy in there too. Getting back with your ex screams disaster. Okay. Whether this is your ex or your exes are trying to come through and sabotage this. I've come too far to settle. So don't settle for this if you if you nope. If you feel like this is settling, then don't do it. And you have I don't share the same goals as you. So maybe your goals are to <clears throat> maybe your goals are different from theirs. And they're like, but no, let's 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 just don't 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 have your goals, have my goals. Or okay, I'll throw my goals out the window, I'll go for your goals. And then they don't really do it. And they shouldn't. They shouldn't have to change their goals to be with yours because they have their own agenda. Um, and you shouldn't have to change your goals to be with them. You have your own agenda. <clears throat> you guys should have your own goals, your own wants and desires. And you shouldn't have to, like, throw them out the window just because you don't want to lose each other. You guys can compromise, obviously, but... 
you know what I'm saying. Okay, so let's see what the advice is for you, pile number three. Lights activation. Share your light. Your internal guidance is coming th through loud and clear. Oh, wow. So this is like saying what you, say what you know. Say what you know. Say what you feel. Don't hold it tight. Don't, don't let it, don't just stuff it under the pillow. If you think this person is, is bluffing and lying, say, I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I need to, I need to see more proof in the pudding. Or if you really don't want to go through with this connection, just be like, I don't, I don't want to. I'm not taking what you're offering. I'm not biting it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not buying what you're offering. <clears throat> I'm not taking what you're offering. No, thank you. Just be honest. Don't leave this person on. Don't let them believe that you're on the same page because then they'll, they'll, you know, you know what it, you know what it's like. Nobody wants to be led on. All right. So you do you, boo, and you just don't settle for this and work on your heart. Heal your heart. Have fun. Um... Stick with your goals, your self-contract, your checklist for yourself, um, your values, your morals, all that fun stuff. You, you keep working your light. You keep on going down your path. Keep on changing and, and, and mastering yourself and learning more about yourself and healing yourself, all that stuff. So take care. Thank you for reading with me. If you want a personal reading, I can be linked below. I'm linked below. Take care.